flesh tonight. I'm doing my own benediction on my flesh. Listen, I'm on a assignment from God. I didn't come to waste no time on tonight. But I will complete the assignment on tonight that God has commanded me to do. I didn't come to play with flesh on tonight. I didn't come to play with nobody on tonight. But I come that the flesh may die. I come to kill the flesh on tonight. Say to your neighbor, I'm killing my flesh on tonight. See, I don't know what I do, but I'm killing my flesh on tonight because every now and then there's some things in this flesh that rise up that takes us out of the will of God. So sometimes you got to speak to yourself and say, self, I'm killing you today. Let Titus 2 and 14 verse says, who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity. Let me pause there. He said, redeem means to take all to recover, to fulfill or to deliver us from sin by sacrifice. Jesus was a sacrifice for us. It didn't say some iniquity, but it said from all and purify unto himself a, a peculiar people, meaning a different or a strange people, zealous of good works. Zealous means devoted or delight. Come on, come on. It means devoted or delight. We are peculiar people. God has called us out of darkness into the marvelous light. Can I just get a witness that he called you? Y'all don't know about you, but I could have been dead sleeping in my grave. Because when I was in the world, I acted a fool in the world and I could have been dead. You know, he was old enough when we was coming up in the world. You gonna knock on somebody's door to fight them? That was a fool back in the day. Because guess what? They could have cut my life. But I was bold enough to go and knock on your door and throw the first hit. But then realize that it could have took my life. Second Corinthians 5 and 17 says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, yes, he is a new creature. New it says, All things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. When we come to Christ, we become a new creature. All things are passed away, meaning everything up to that point of coming to Christ is passed away. Uh, then the apostle Paul is speaking. He said, Having therefore these promises daily, Beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfection, holiness, and the fear of God. Hallelujah. See, I don't know about you, but I need God to perfect some things in my life. I don't know about you. Maybe you got it all together, but I don't got it all together. I need the, I need the Father to perfect, to, to perfect some things in my life on today. I don't care how many times you preach. I don't care how much you do, you need some perfection in your life. And perfection in order to be mature of We must do a checkpoint on our lives. Every once in a while, the police set up a checkpoint to check your driver's license and to check and make sure that you have insurance on your bills and the check to make sure that you won't have any wants or anything out. So we have to do the same thing. We got to check ourselves. We have to check ourselves daily. We need to begin to remove everything that's not like God. Not just some, but all. Romans 8, 28 says, and we know that all things work together for the good of them that love God. To them that are called according to his purpose. All things, he didn't say something, but he said all things work together for the good of them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. How many are called to his purpose on tonight? How many are called to his purpose on tonight? So he, his word decree and declare that all things, not some things, but all things. First Peter 5 and 8 says, be sober, be diligent, because your adversary the devil, mm -hmm. and they roaring lion you walking about seeking who he may devour. So that means if I'm holy, I got to be sober, because why? Because the enemy is seeking out to see who he can find. He's looking for you. See, the Bible says the devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. The Apostle Paul states in Romans 7 and 18, he said, For I know that in me, that is in my flesh, dwelleth no good 